you just heard a song called Trio by the illustrious John James, the Welsh guitarist, the wizard of the strings, uh, I should say. And I got it from this LP, which was something from the late 70s, I guess, but it has been uh, reissued by the Stefan Grossman uh, workshop, guitar workshop. And uh, seven of the, I think, 12 tunes are half tap, and this one has tap as well. And I've put a link in the video description with some interesting information concerning the CD and um, concerning the tap, and also John James in general. And he's one of my favorite guitarists, and really like his playing. And this song, well, it's not an easy one. Uh, I think John James doesn't have any very easy songs. So they all, all pose a challenge to play. And you know what they say, if you don't try the difficult stuff, well, you're gonna stay with the easy stuff, then, well, your playing will be easy. And learning a difficult song, I find it, um, well, beneficial for my playing in general. And also, well, it, it makes you a step, go a step further in your development. And even if you don't play it perfectly, as I did, uh, as you just heard, uh, I don't think I ever played this song without a few mistakes. And I know, uh, I read somewhere that in the 70s when they recorded all those Kicking Mule albums, they made a lot of mistakes as well, but they corrected them by taping from uh, the part they went wrong and playing the song again and splicing and uh, cutting. And it was, well, a real mess sometimes, I heard. <laughs> anyway, so um, I put a tablature on my website only for this song. And I changed it here and there, made it maybe probably a bit easier. And I'll teach you this song according to the tap. So uh, we're in standard tuning. And the great thing about this song is it doesn't have a monotonic bass or an alternating bass. It's, it has a moving bass line with single string runs. It's also a good practice for your single string playing and some very unusual chordings. So uh, let's start. So we're starting with a, um, a pinch. 4th fret, 2nd fret open, and then I change, so these fingers go like this, in verse, and we're adding the pinky to the 5th fret, center tap, so, and then on the offbeat, I'm playing with the index first, and then the thumb, all those single string runs are index, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, or thumb, index, thumb, index, And I, I do a little hit um, to get me in the timing because the next uh, uh, note is on the offbeat. Pull off. And the same thing again. Now we have an interesting chord. Seven, five, seven. Picking that in full, and we're sliding up to the ninth fret, but we're releasing the index finger. So it's not like this, but and then a harmonic on the fifth string ninth fret, and it's very easy to get that really clean. So slowly it goes, but at tempo, and then we have the a very interesting part. I'm not going to say put your finger there, put your finger there. The tap uh, says it, and you can watch my fingers as well, how I did a, a plate. And I did tap and index again here. Sorry. This is the sixth bar. And 
and changing to almost a, a, B, um, a B7 chord on the 9th fret. Pulling off, pinky on the 10th fret, and then barring the first four strings. And uh, then the second finger to the 8th fret, 5th string. And again. To a and the difficult thing is to really let that ring after after the pull off. So this is the 11 bar. And here I'm this bass note I'm playing with my third finger, and then the thump plays the eighth fret second string. And I put my index on the fifth string seventh fret. Open, E minor, and then the temp wrap, and this is like a partial E, D7 chord moved up. Open bass, hammer on, it's a D chord, hammer on with the pinky. And this is um, a bar chord. And then I play this with um, fourth, str third string, uh, sixth fret, with the pinky and the, the index on the fourth string, fourth fret. So. Then, we're, then we're already set, why I'm doing this with this finger, so we're already set up for the next uh, chord. That's a 14 bar. Sorry. And I'm playing that because I want to let the strings ring. And then again, well, E minor. And I play this a bit close to the bridge when I think about it. And let it ring. And those two bass notes with the temp. It's a bit of a stretch. Uh, this like that uh, D7 chord moved up and the index goes to the 5th string 2nd frets. on the 7th fret 6th string. Again then hammer on with the pinky. And then we're playing the same thing all over. minor chord that's not too difficult change the tab a little bit here so that bridge and then a bar chord to a ninth position in the seventh fret it's like your B7 chord moved up to the 7th fret. And we're lifting the pinky from the open 7, the open 2nd string. So we are at the 19th bar here. So I'm playing that. It's, it's an A chord, a partial A chord, but with a temp on the 6th string, 4th uh, fret. And then the same position, but I'm changing it 
so I can reach the seventh fret. Um, sorry, the seventh fret, sixth string. Yeah. Minor bar chord. So that twentieth measure is. position what we did here but then higher up so pull off sorry so here yeah, that uh, say minor partial minor chords on the ninth fret bar hammer on and then Leave the second finger and move second, uh, seventh fret, second string, and the ninth fret for the sixth string. That was a 24th bar. It's a bit the same, like. Like in the beginning, from here. Again, that single string run, starting with the index. And then higher up. Same principle as we did here, but on the 12th fret. And harmonic on the 5th string. And then, well, you could do that with, with bars, but I'm doing it like this. And the way why I'm doing this, because then the harmonic on the 12th fret, 5th string rings a bit longer. If you do that with a bar, that's D chord, then the harmonic is gone, of course. Sorry. So, temp, wrap on the 10th uh, fret. Partial uh, D chords and then A chord, and then we have a lot of triplets. D chord, I take it with my uh, first and uh, third finger, move down. And then it's quite a stretch also. That was a 29 bar. And here I'm playing, uh, so the 30th bar, I'm playing what the, just in the tap is uh, next to it, the coda. It's so all diminished chords, 10th fret, 7th fret, then 6, 7, 6, and wrap on the 7th fret and move it down to the 3rd fret and 4th fret for the temp and the 3rd finger. So. And then again. Start again from the top. Sorry. And instead of going, we're gonna do that descending run once more, and then we're going to the uh, second page because that's not in the tap. It's uh, well, uh, sort of an omission, let's say, a little mistake. And we're going to the 25th bar and the 26th bar only the half. So the 
the same thing what we did but here that note 12 10 12 fret and then the descending link is 11 10, uh, 11 9 11 9 on the third and fourth string and then again and then we're playing the 25th and 26th bar as a whole and go to the end so from the top again uh, the last time is Again, I did uh, a bit, bit different as in the tap. In the tap, it's not like this more. Okay, that's it for trio. Check out John James. He has a lot of uh, videos on the on YouTube, and check out this. Well, if you can find his LPs, he hasn't made a bad one, I think. Okay. Have fun.